Well, hello everyone. I cannot believe we're here, but we're here to do my January TBR. Let's get into it. So the cup is back, of course. Um, before we dive into the cup, I need to share with you what all of us over on Patreon on my little book club are going to be reading in January. It's a very popular book this year, or yeah, in 2020, it's been a very popular book. It's The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. I've been dying to read this. I don't know how I haven't read it already, but I'm really looking forward to vlogging my way through this and chatting about it with everybody. This is about two um, black girls who are twins. <clears throat> now, they run away from home together at first, but are separated soon after. One of them goes on to pass as white. She marries a white man who has no idea that her family is black. They go on to have white kids. The other sister marries a black man and has a black child. And these two children of the sisters, who are cousins, I guess, uh, learn about each other, meet one another, and these two women are brought back together somehow. I, I've only heard good things, genuinely. Not heard a bad thing about it. So if you want to join us to read The Vanishing Half over on Patreon, uh, the link is always in the description box below. We would love to have you. But I wanted to talk about that before we get into the cup. We need to take out four uh, prompts from the cup and then choose books based on those prompts. So let's see what we start. Should we shuffle? I feel like, you know what? Probably a good idea to always shuffle at the beginning. Oh gosh, I didn't screw it all up. Okay, good. Okay, now we're ready. Into the cup, as you can see, I did not look. First is people on the cover. So let's look for some books with people on the cover. It took a little while, but I have four books for this prompt that I could choose from. Maybe I should bring this down to three, but anywho, here we are. They're all so different, literally in completely different genres. The first is a genre that is shocking for me. It's fantasy. It's the Poppy War. And this is about a girl who is essentially training to become a warrior. And she, I think the first half of the book, you follow her training. The second half of the book, you follow her in war, which sounds interesting. Apparently it's very, very descriptive with the war bit and it's big, which makes me nervous. But so many people have read and loved this book and I wanna give her a whirl. The other book that I have very high expectations for is The Hypnotist by Lars Kepler. You guys know that I'm trying to find like really good detective books series to read. Last year, or I should say in 2020, I read um, the Frida Klein series by Nikki French and just loved it, devoured the whole eight book series. And I'd really like to start a new one. And I've decided, I think, to really try to get into this one. I think I have the first three books in the series. So this is The Hypnotist, where it all starts with our um, detective, June Alina. And he comes across a young boy who has been stabbed and like has knife wounds. I think there's a mix of horrendousness that happened to this kid, like a hundred knife wounds. And he's kind of in a catatonic state because I believe his whole family was murdered and then he was, I guess, they tried to murder him or torture him in some way. And so Detective Lena tries to get a, a, a psychologist who specializes in trauma in children to sit down with this kid and draw out what happened to him. And it sounds great. I'm very, I'm very excited about that one. Next is The Jane Austen Society um, by Natalie Jenner. This was a really big book this past year in 2020. And this follows a group of people 
who are trying to, I think, save Jane Austen's home. Um, so this takes place in the 40s and the cottage where Jane Austen wrote um, and revised her books, I think is in disrepair and we meet this group of people who want to try to maintain it. I think there's a bit of a romance in here. Sounds like a lovely kind of book to read. So there's that. And then I also have an inkling to read a, an arc that I got. This is The Divines. This is coming out on January 21st. And this is about a boarding school for girls who, where a lot of crap went down. Um, so we meet one woman um, years, years later after going to this boarding school. She's actually drawn back to the school. She has moved location. I think she lives in California now, but she goes back to England, um, back to this boarding school that closed down very suddenly because something terrible happened to the school. And she hasn't talked to the girls who she went to the school with in years, in years and years and years, but she's somehow drawn back and we discover what happened while she was there, why it was shut down. It sounds good. So I could read those. And now we need to choose another prompt from the cup. Let's try this one. Most recent by, hmm. Okay, I have three and I think this is from the last haul that I did. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure these are all from my last haul. The first, is a historical fiction book called The Gown by Jennifer Robson. No, just Jennifer Robson. And this is about the dressmakers who actually created Queen Elizabeth's wedding gown. The process of doing that, their relationship with one another. And that sounds quite interesting to me. Then I've got two thrillers. The first is The Hunting Party by Lucy Foley. This is about a group of old college friends. Apparently they're all incredibly unlikable people. They get together every year. I think over the Christmas holiday, they're getting together for New Year's Eve in this one. And unfortunately they get snowed into this place. I think it's a nice place to be snowed in. Unfortunately, uh, there's, uh, a lot of hostility between these friends and I think one of them dies. Yeah, one of these friends is a murderer and one won't make it out alive. That sounds fun to me and I've heard this is better than the guest list. The guest list? I read that and it was okay but that sounds good. And then last but not least is the other woman. He loves me, she loves me not. And this is about a woman who finds the perfect man. This mother-in-law uh, hates her and will stop at nothing to stop this union from happening. I don't think they're married yet. And I think she's trying to put a kibosh on the marriage. And it's about how she deals with her mother-in-law. And that just sounds like a lot of fun. So there's the other woman. Okay. Now we need to choose another prompt for the cup. Interestingly, I have chosen two orange ones and I don't know, like this is random, right? Okay, this one, not orange. Branches on the cover. Okay, so I've got another three books with branches on the cover this time. This is Kill Creek, here the branches. Um, this is a horror book that I've been meaning to read for a long time. Um, this is about a group of horror writers who are um, invited to stay at a haunted house for one night. Most of them don't believe in ghosts. They write about ghosts all the time, but they're invited to stay one night. I think it's Halloween night and it's about the goings on. Of course, the house actually is haunted and it's about them trying to survive with each other, although they have no... I imagine they're not friends or anything. So will it be ruthless? I don't know, but it sounds like a lot of fun. So there's that. There's also totally different. Um, the A Tree Grows in Brooklyn by Betty Smith. I've never read this. Here's the branches. 
I've never read this. I think I started it ages ago and stopped reading it. But this is a growing up story about a little girl named uh, Francie. And it's them growing up in Brooklyn. I don't think they have a lot of money. But it's meant to be incredibly heartwarming. And like Francie's meant to stay with you for a long time. So I think that sounds lovely. I'm meaning to read that too. And then last but not least is a true crime book called American Predator. This has been on so many TBRs. I won't I won't go into it too much, but this is the hunt for the most meticulous serial killer of the 21st century. It took a really long time for them to catch this guy because he, well, he was very smart. He would plant and bury these kill kits in various cities around the US. He'd fly, plant a kill kit, fly away, and then he'd fly back like months later, years later in some cases, and kill someone at random in that city. Uh, that sounds terrifying, but I've heard very good things about the way this is written, and I'm very interested in the case, of course, because that sounds so weird. So there's American Predator that I could read. Okay, we've got one last one that I need to pick from. There are a few books that I was hoping to read. Hopefully this prompt will work. What is it? Uh, BIPOC author. So um, Black, Indigenous, People of Color author. Let's have a look. Okay, so I have three books here by Black, Indigenous, People of Color, color authors. The first is The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Riaz Zafon. Now, I've been meaning to read this for a long time. A long, long time. Um, and this just seems like a good time to read it. This is on my winter TBR. And this follows a young boy uh, named Daniel. It's Barcelona, 1945. And he is brought to this library um, by his father. And his father says, you can pick any book here. And he picks The Shadow of the Wind. And he falls in love with it. And then he wants to find more books by this author. But he discovers that someone is systematically destroying this author's books. Um, and the author of this book actually passed away this year, which is very sad. Um, and it's such a shame that I haven't read this yet. So I would really love to read this. I genuinely would. So there's The Shadow of the Wind. I would also genuinely love to read Luster. This has been a really big book this year. Um, this is about a black woman who is young and she lives where does she live? In New Jersey. She meets this guy at work named Eric. And I think there's flirtation there. And Eric says, hey, I'm in an open marriage with my wife. I'd love for you to come and live with us. We have a daughter. We'd love for you to come and live with us. And we can like start an affair. It's not an affair because it's an open marriage. And she goes. And it's about her relationship, I think, more with the wife and the daughter than with him. I am so curious about this book and I've heard very good things about this. So I'd love to read Luster. And last but not least, a book that I recently was sent for review and have been really wanting to read. This is Cast, The Origins of Our Discontents by Isabel Wilkerson. Um, she recently came out with this in 2020 and she dove into the caste system that exists within the U.S. And I think she looks at it from around the world, but really is honing in on the U.S. Um, and how it exists kind of without people recognizing it. Um, it just sounds fascinating. So I'd love to get my highlighter out. I know many of you are probably like, don't do that. But I'd love to get my highlighter out and highlight my way through this important book. So those are all of them. Oh my goodness, there's a big stack here. <laughs> okay, wait, that's not all of them. There is a book that I have been hoping to read. I got it for Christmas and I'm kind of in like organizational mode. 
<laughs> so I'd really love to read An Edited Life by Anna Newton. Oh, I'll just, my hair. Um, this is simple steps to streamlining your life at work and at home. And it just sounds lovely. Like it sounds just looking at the table of contents here. Organize your workspace. Um, how to build a capsule wardrobe. Um, how to have a social life that works for you. She's a Virgo and someone that I really admire and really love on YouTube. And she wrote this, Barry got this for me for Christmas and I was so thrilled that he got this because I've been wanting to read it for years. So I think I might just add that to the very tall pile of books that I want to read in January. Let me know in the comments below what you are planning to read in January. It's a fresh new year. Do you have any goals that you're looking to do in the beginning of the year? I'd love to know. I hope you are all doing really well and I'll talk with you soon. Bye everybody.